Hello viewers, welcome back to another episode of Graham to Glory. Uh, it's not, not evident though from the team name or the club name so far, but that will be changed hopefully in upcoming episodes. Uh, of course, if you were with us last time, you will remember that Jesse Lingard is now part of the lineup. Three star weak foot, three star skill moves, but on that right hand side fits in beautifully. Next to Trippier, Fabregas, Charlie Austin, he surrounded himself with players I'm sure he's familiar with as we go into this first game against Foggier. Uh, he doesn't actually have another name there, but yeah, not the greatest chemistry for this guy, but did have Alexis Sanchez, uh, AU's out there as well. Winston Reid, so three good, solid, rare players, uh, but a 60-rated bronze goalkeeper. And if you've played FIFA, if you see a bronze keeper, I mean, I'm currently rocking one, but if you see a bronze keeper, it makes you quite excited. Uh, this was probably the best highlight of the first half. It was 42 minutes gone, and... I mean, yeah, it wasn't great. Can he runs forward here? I thought we, we might be in late in the half, but no, it's uh, it's it's tidied up pretty comfortably, in all fairness. And quite a poor half of football. Not the greatest way to start off an episode. You can see we were pretty dominant in the game. 89% pass completion, probably the highlight of that. Lots of shots, but no goals. Their bronze goalkeeper was keeping me out. And things went from bad to worse. Corner played in, and that is a wonderful volley, isn't it? I think we can all agree. Andre Ayew with it, and it is a beautiful finish on the volley. Corner whipped in, and uh, you can see again from this angle we're not even near it not even because there's one guy just running across trying to head it i don't know what he's trying to do it was amusing to me though anyway we don't stay down for long austin and graham combine once again graham's running through not the quickest but does that matter no it doesn't left footed finish from daddy graham and we mentioned it last episode his former is celebrations <laughs> just go from the sublime to the ridiculous everyone celebrates around him like he's a comedy character the crowd go wild and uh, yeah got his first of the game 76 minutes gone Graham involved again plays it forward to Canu he's got Austin at the back post can he find him yes he can Look, I do not, I'm not a big crosser of the ball but when you've got Austin and, uh, and Graham up front you've got to get involved Charlie Austin then at the back post drills it in him and Fabregas celebrate wildly you can see just, just flies off his boot beautifully lovely finish thank you very much Charlie wonderful stuff uh, so two one up and at this point we've turned it around danny graham uh he's not done he's never done drink water plays it through he's he's, he's putting, like, hustling and bustling his way forward the biggest fake shot of all time and then look at that for composure a finish into the top right hand corner 80 minutes gone and uh again celebrates we're gonna I, I might include every single time <laughs> He doesn't, he doesn't, he's not aware everyone else is there. He's just he's just intensely looking at your viewers. He's letting you know this is my series. Look at him. No one can, no one can control him. Everyone's around him saying, "Well done, Danny." He doesn't give a stuff. Great finish. They've got he's got players sliding in all over the place. The guy I was playing against, the keeper can't get there. And uh, yeah, I don't know if it's just helpful that these keepers aren't very good. But Danny Graham is a, is a man possessed, uh, not just in terms of goal scoring, but looks a little bit crazed as well uh, their keeper came up late doors and uh, if, if well if this has gone in from Danny Graham would have been on the pitch sadly not to be though uh, I don't know why they brought the keeper up really it doesn't make sense 3-1 down if, if you score one you're still you're still way behind um, and then again if we score it's game over and it was game over as uh, some substitutes make their way onto the pitch a good win for us 3-1 and a good way to start off the episode despite the fact they went up in front uh, 9.5 average rating or 9.5 rating for Danny Graham two goals in the game as well and uh, again massive coin bonus into the bank 1400 or so coins uh, you can see we we're pretty dominant in the game too 17 shots so not too bad at all so we weren't too far off at this point getting our title uh, what I've decided then so we're going to get a player for every time we win a game so you'll see who we sign in just a moment and then if we get promoted two players because I'm feeling fancy uh, not only that we got a lone pack player and similarly to Fabregas I think if we get these lone players we may as well get them involved we may, we may as well include them they're not going to be here forever it does help with the, sort of the, the first parts of the season and you know, any football club you can have a few loans uh, and Vitolo was the guy we got left winger from Spain and that started to shape a little bit what I thought we could do. So I thought what we'll do is we'll have a Spanish left side. We've already got Fabregas, of course. And then we'll have an English right side, apart from the two up front, which kind of ruined everything. Uh, Bartra was the guy we went for, Mark Bartra of Dortmund. Very quick on the game this year. Uh, decent defensively, but physically not the greatest. But I think in these sort of divisions, it won't matter too much. 800 coins spent, though. And we're trying to keep money in the bank until we can go out and buy some properly good players to help the squad in the latter stages. So I thought, you know what, what we'll do is we'll go for some budget options and that'll probably be a theme throughout the early portions of sort of division 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 maybe even um, and we'll see what we can do in these lower divisions so this was the squad as we went into this next game Graham and Austin again up front Bartra has come in and I thought for sort of chemistry reasons we'll switch a few guys around of course Danny Graham for as good as he is and he plays for Blackburn he's also in League 1 so he doesn't link too well uh, with some of the Premier League players but the English players of course he does do so we played him alongside Lingard rather than the Spanish contingent on the other side uh, 
we got a few packs as well, I thought. We'll save those, many boy. If you get promoted, you can have those as a treat later on. So, we avoid those for now, and we go in search of our next game. And uh, Paris FC was the team we came up against. The Borussia Dortmund badge, which I think you can all get behind. And uh, we're again wearing our, our Danish... I guess it's the away kit. The home kit must surely be red. Uh, so this team, then, was the best team we've come, uh, come up against so far. He, of course, had a couple of lone players, because that's what everyone seems to do in these lesser divisions. Timo Werner up front, Kagawa's there, Koke, Jonathan Tarr, and uh, Trap are his, his rare players. He's got a bronze defender in there. Would Danny Graham punish that? I guess we'll have to find out. But it was a decent side, best team we've played against so far. Really good chemistry as well. And uh, as the game's got underway, then you can see uh, Simon Francis with an absolutely fantastic tackle. The Bournemouth defender starts, moves off. And this was one of those moves. Danny Graham, we, we've seen already, he likes quite a decent pass, doesn't he? Plays it out to this right-hand side. Lingard plays it in. And a great bullet header from Charlie Austin. The keeper gives him a little push for his troubles. Uh, but Charlie Austin gets us underway. 17, well, 16, 17 minutes gone. And a lovely little finish. You can see there, Charlie Austin absolutely loving life as he, well... He falls to the floor. And that was half time then. 11 shots for us. Only three on target. So something we have to improve as we go into the second half. You will be punished on FIFA if you don't take your chances. I find that out over the years. Uh, so into the second half we go. And it's Fabregas with a beautiful through ball to Danny Graham. Who... It just can't be tamed, viewers. It, it, it's a, Danny Graham is a bit of a meme. I should clarify. If you didn't watch my Football Manager series where Danny Graham has been involved, it's been a few of them. And there is a reason for his participation within this series. But, you know, I got him in my starter pack. I thought it was meant to be. So we'll build a series around him as well as he gets bundled once again by the team. Great finish. Keeper comes out, but there's nothing he can do. As, uh, as Graham makes it 2-0. Him and Austin forming quite the formidable partnership. I think you'll agree. So, it was back on there for Paris FC. Shot comes in, drilled from the edge of the box. I think it's uh, Keevesling, maybe? I think that's who scores it. Uh, regardless of that, 2-1. And they're back in the game. Keevesling, is that how you say Keevesling? One of those. And they're in again, not long after. 90th minute to equal the game or to level it up. But no, hits the, hits the top of the net in. And uh, although he got the first, he couldn't get the second. And luckily for me, that was the end of the game. 2-1 win there again. Charlie and Danny performing like one of the most unlikely partnerships. I said unlikely, actually. In English football, it's not that unlikely at all. But Graham with a 9.4, proving he's the best player in world football once again. And uh, Paris FC have been beaten. So good stuff from us. Only four shots on target, two goals. Something we should probably be working on. But that does indeed give us the title. 2-1 win. And action uh, go on to greater things. We'll sort that out eventually. So yeah, I thought I'd treat myself first and foremost with these packs. And luckily for us, an English central midfielder by way of... Of Deli Alley. Now, with Fabregas's loan deal uh, coming to an end soon, I thought that's the perfect kind of replacement. We also got a silver pack that, I'll be honest, means very little to us. Um, but no, I thought it was a really good addition to get Deli Alley, and we'll hopefully see him uh, throughout the series proving just how good that man is. We also, of course, got the win, so we were allowed to sign someone. We went after Adrian, and uh, because of the promotion, we could go and get another player, and we went for maybe a surprise choice in Alberto Moreno, uh, the left back. So again, keeping that Spanish theme. Spanish goalkeeper but plays in the Premier League Spanish left back of course again a Premier League player in Moreno so we're creating something quite nice here an English contingent a Spanish contingent we'll call it Spanland <laughs> probably not Spanland but regardless that's what we've got and that's what we're working with as another game was upon us I was trying to use the the white kit but he's got coke on the front so he's always going to pick that one isn't he um you can see there Deli Ali then making his debut in this game and we're up against we had, we had a good team earlier on this team was slightly better an informer Cardi up top interestingly though Son and Salah playing in the defensive midfield spots not something I would necessarily recommend but a really good team Firmino in there as well Sané, Sterling and even the bat line Keane uh, Smalling Kasper Schmeichel he's got Ashley Young on the left hand side I think with Valencia at right back as well so Lambeth FC with the Red Bull Leipzig uh, badge up against my boys Danny Graham's wonder, wonder kids as uh, Fabregas has a really good chance early on three minutes gone that would have been the perfect way to get things going but it didn't take long for Tolo chips the ball in and have you ever seen a header as good as that on this game we saw a good one earlier on but that one from Danny Graham I, I don't want to call it a surprise because that was that would then suggest that it was unexpected but it was somewhat unexpected fantastic header Kasper Schmeichel doesn't know what to make of it he dives but it's too late and, uh, and Graham, celebra Gra Graham celebrates wildly. So 1-0 was the scoreline. Only 10 minutes gone. And you know what? 10 minutes later, we had another chance. Danny Graham goes on a weaving run and is scythed down because look, there's only one way to stop Danny Graham. It, it, it was Messi-esque, that run, from Danny. Uh, and it gave us a really good opportunity from just outside the area. Now, with free kicks, I'm a little bit hit and miss. So what I thought I'd do, Fabregas chips it up. Jesse Lingard. Boom. 
Look at that, lovely finish. Strike from the edge of the box, into the back of the net, and uh, gets his first goal, I think it is, for the club. His celebration, now that's more of a loving bundle, in my opinion. The Danny Graham one looks a little bit more aggressive, but you can see, lovely little flick up, bounces once, and Lingard volleys home. And uh, yeah, their wall, not good enough to stop it. Graham plays through Deli Alley, who gets his first goal for the club. Lovely little partnership between the two. Charlie Austin was injured for this one, uh, so I decided to play Deli Alley and Danny Graham up front as a partnership. You can see they're a partnership there because they did a little high five, and that's, that's usually the biggest indication. Uh, so he decided Salah at defensive midfielder wasn't working, and Bakayoko came, came on as he sort of barges through Jesse Lingard there. Uh, so we have to be aware that he'd made changes, you know, he'd reacted. Uh, for Tolo now, on the edge of the box, I mean, it's just getting better and better and better. Fatolo's got a couple for the club already, and that was uh, probably the best of the bunch. And, he, and do you know what? That is the right celebration for the moment uh, that he, he produced for us there. Great shot from the edge of the box. The team celebrate with him, and you can see into his feet, but it's just close control, really good close control. Chris Smaller, I think it is, commits and gets it wrong, and uh, straight into the top corner. And that then brought us to the end of the game, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, a really good game of football. Is it, is it the end of the game? Or is it half time? It's half time! Well, a 4 0. I mean, I'm doing these sort of on the fly, viewers. I thought that was game over. How wrong was I? We weren't finished. Of course we weren't. It's all coming back to me. It's flooding back to me. Uh, Alberto Moreno decides that he wants to get involved. And the goals, I've said it already, but I'll say it again. The goals are getting better and better and better. At 5 0, you've always got an idea of what's about to happen when Big Nasty is here, uh, pauses the game. 5 0, see six minutes. Shall we make a prediction, viewers? Does he rage quit? Or does he continue to fight the good fight? Because, you know, he is here. Would, would he ever dare leave? I mean, he'll have to rechange his name to Big Nasty Was Here, which isn't what he's gone with on the old Xbox. So, yeah, the game was paused, and there was that moment of anticipation. And then, there it was. You lost your connection to your opponent. Uh, and I'll check the report to whatnot to decide who had quit. It's never, like, very rarely will I quit. I have to, no, it's not very often that, that will occur. Uh, you can see he had another shot on target, so can you blame him? And it got our start to Division 9 off uh, really, really well. Three points in the bag then. And uh, we had to, oh, this was sad, say goodbye to Cesc Fabregas. The loanee uh, was had to be shipped out, which I didn't like to do, but we didn't really have a choice uh, as it was. Charlie Austin came into the team as well. And uh, because we won that game, we did allow ourselves to make a signing as well. But you'll have to wait until next time to find out. That is. So we love with care. If we're not to mention, until next time, I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Oh,